Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for all the juiciest stories in hip hop. Today, we're diving into Cameron's recent reflections on a weird conversation he had with none other than Jay-Z. This all goes back to their surprise reunion at Hope's iconic B-Sides concert in 2019, a moment that stunned fans and brought a glimmer of hope to their on-again, off-again relationship. But as always with these two, things aren't as simple as they seem. Let's break it all down. First, let's set the stage. Back in 2019, Jay-Z held his historic B-Sides concert. In the highlight, Cameron stepping out to perform Welcome to New York. It was a monumental moment, considering their rocky history. For years, these two had a well-documented beef dating back to their Rockefeller days, with diss tracks flying back and forth. Fans were thrilled to see them share the stage, signaling a possible end to the drama. But the story doesn't end there. According to Cam, the night didn't just rap with applause and handshakes. Hove hit him up afterward with a text that left him scratching his head. So here's what went down. After the show, Jay-Z texted Cameron saying, yo, that was dope last night. See how much shit we can do when niggas stop acting like there's fake beef out here? Now, Cameron admitted he didn't know how to take that. Was it a dig? Was it genuine? He responded diplomatically, thanking Jay-Z for giving him a platform to support his family. But inside, Cam was confused. Why bring up fake beef? Even now, years later, Cam still finds the comment odd. And let's not forget, this isn't the first time their communication has been unique. From diss tracks to cryptic bars, these two have a knack for leaving fans guessing. Fast forward to today, what's the status between these two legends? According to Cam, they haven't spoken since that night. He made it clear. He respects Jay-Z's hustle and business moves, but whether they're truly good remains a mystery. As for a potential collab, don't hold your breath. Cameron isn't focusing on music full time. And let's be real, Jay-Z is more about boardrooms than bars these days. Still, Cam acknowledged their shared history and the impact they've had on each other's careers, whether they'd admit it outright or not. To really understand the tension, Let's not forget the infamous diss tracks. In 2006, Cam dropped You Gotta Love It, calling out Hove for allegedly biting Biggie's style. Jay-Z later responded on Drake's Pound Cake, name-dropping Cam and their Rockefeller family tree. And Cam fired back with Come and Talk to Me, reminding everyone that he was already making moves before linking up with Hove. These tracks serve as a reminder of how deep their rivalry ran and why that 2019 reunion was such a big deal. So what's the takeaway here? Cameron and Jay-Z's relationship is as layered as their lyrics. While the B-Sides concert might have signaled a truce, Cam's reaction to that weird text shows there's still some unresolved tension. Whether we'll ever see another collaboration between these two remains uncertain. But one thing's for sure, their legacy in hip hop is undeniable. What do you think? Was Jay-Z's text a genuine olive branch or a subtle flex? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into hip hop's most intriguing stories. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Reup.